So you guys always see me rocking an Apple Watch, right? Well, we got an update to that today, and also we got an update to the iPhone. What is up guys, it's Ray back here with a quick little video I want to make recapping today's Apple iPhone event, which marks the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. It came out 10 years ago, that is insane. What we saw at the event today was an update to the Apple Watch, the Apple TV, and obviously, of course, the iPhone. The Apple Watch is now up to series three with its biggest update to date, gaining an LTE connection and full independence from needing an iPhone. So being an Apple Watch series one where for literally almost two years now, since 2015, I've got to say that Having an LTE connection this thing is really a big deal. I don't know if it's a game changer, but it is a big deal, especially in those times when you want to be a little sneaky sneaky. Next up, we also saw the Apple TV get an update. Now, this one is actually interesting because the Apple TV isn't particularly the most exciting product, but it is something that's really pushing forward as far as content and programming goes. Now, the Apple TV got a significant upgrade with 4K HDR. Now, this is going to set the standard because if it wasn't before 4K content is really coming and it is really happening. It's coming more and more often every single day. And of course, Apple Watch and Apple TV aside, we saw some new iPhones. Yes, iPhones with a plural S. We have a bunch of them now. We got three brand new ones. Surprisingly, alongside the much anticipated iPhone X, which is now called iPhone 10, we also saw the reveal of the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus, which look almost identical to the previous iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Obviously, there are a few key differences between this thing and I feel like I just unboxed this thing last year and now we have some brand new ones already what so the main key physical difference between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8 is the glass back on the back of the iPhone 8 this now gives the iPhone wireless charging capabilities which is actually really really cool now I wouldn't say the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 plus are totally revolutionary as much as they are standard yearly spec upgrades which is where things get more interesting with the iPhone 10 as you can see visibly the 10 does away with everything that we all know and love including the home button and completely covers the front with an OLED HDR screen it's also interesting to note that if you scroll through Apple's website you'll notice that the iPhone 10 has almost exactly the same specs as the iPhone 8 except for the display and the new face ID unlock system so that really makes you think is it worth the premium price <laughs> What always has me intrigued though mostly are the continuous updates to the cameras and the augmented reality Apple is continuously investing big time in. I mean, think about it. Cameras on smartphones now shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. That is absolutely insane. That is more than most DSLRs and most mirrorless cameras out there. And now to answer the million dollar question that everybody's going to be asking me, are you going to be upgrading your iPhone? Not this year, my friends. Actually, I'm probably going to be sticking with the iPhone 7 Plus for another year because honestly, I love the thinness of this thing. I love the battery life and not to mention the functionality. This thing is super fast, it's super speedy and I feel like I just got it like this is the top of the line phone from last year and now it's already getting phased out like what like i feel like i just got it and i don't want to really like part ways just yet like as much as i love the iphone 8 and the iphone 10 this is just too quick for me in all honesty like i'm really enjoying this thing it's just so works perfect for my needs and that's why i love it so let me know your thoughts down in the comments box down below was there anything cool that you thought apple unveiled today was there anything that you would have liked to see is there anything that you thought would have been even even better i would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below already guys that's been it for this video make sure you subscribe for new videos every thursday sunday sometimes more you know it's going down over here on the channel so until next time i'll catch you guys later peace